Let's discuss problem number 9.22, NCRT textbook, standard 12 physics, ray optics. Here we are given a prism whose angle of prism is 60 degree, which means when the light actually passes through AC and BC surfaces, it makes use of these two surfaces and the angle between those two surfaces is known as angle of prism. Refractive index of the prism is given. Now, we are supposed to find this angle of incidence for which the light coming out just undergoes TIR. So first of all, let us find out the critical angle with the help of this particular refractive index. So we do know that sine of critical angle is equal to 1 upon mu, which is equal to 1 upon 1.524. This value is equal to 0 0.6562 and then the critical angle is almost 41 degrees. You can make use of the natural sign table and find out that the critical angle for 41 degrees this one right sine of 41 degrees this one so now we are just supposed to assume that this angle becomes 41 degree so if this angle becomes 41 degree the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree and slightly if i increase the angle beyond 41 this ray will be inside correct now we do know that in case of prism r1 plus r2 is equal to a correct now a value we know it is 60 degrees we know the value of r2 as 41 degrees so r1 value from here can be easily calculated as 19 degrees so now i know this this angle as well 19 degree i know the refractive index that is 1.524 now simply the outside medium is considered to be air so i am simply going to use the Snell's law and I am going to find out the angle of incidence. So let's apply Snell's law 1 into sine of i that is equal to 1.524 into sine of r which is 19 degree right 1.524 into sine r1 and that is equal to 1 into sine i. So from here sine i value that is equal to 0 point if you solve this sine 19 you can just find it out from the uh, again the natural sign table and when you will solve this you will get your answer as 0 0.4962 again make use of the uh, natural sign table you will be able to find that this angle is 29 point something I am approximately writing this as 30 degree now solving the problem was not very difficult you have to understand this that if this angle increases beyond 41 degree then TIR happens if this angle is 42 then this has to be less than 19 if this is less than 19 then this will definitely be less than 30 so this is the maximum angle at which the ray is going to be parallel to the surface if you even increase an angle beyond 31 just by a little bit this will increase this will decrease because the sum of these two has to be 60 degree so if this decreases then the ray will undergo refraction i hope you have understood the problem